Hello everyone, Zane and Zimmer here. Welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Last time, well, quite a bit happened. Hey, look. That's a really odd looking tree. Meh. Oh, wondrous day! Cannot believe eyes! It's fruit of legend! Bright fig! Bright fig? What's a bright fig when it's at home? Let me guess. They're stupidly delish. Oh, guaranteed! Deliciousness is such that friends will be picking up jaws from ground for weeks! Uh-oh. What's up? Are they rotten or something? Tragedy strike! These not ripe for plucking yet, let alone eating! If eat now, bitter flavor calls agonizing death! Huh? I don't know. They look tasty enough to me. Bright fig not good for eating even after full yellow. Still have to wait another year before able to enjoy. That's too long. Man, so much for that. Never mind. You can always come back next year. It's legendary, right? You wouldn't want to miss out. Guess we'll have to. But me, a year from now? Mm. Even if I might not get to do it. You guys can still have a taste. Why wouldn't you... Whoa. Love, you've got to stop being so detached about it. You'll just get everyone feeling guilty. Oh, sorry, sorry. Please don't mind me. Don't mind me, she says. Of course we're going to mind you, doll. Hey. How can you be so casual about it? What do you mean, casual? I assure you, I'm not. I'm actually pretty flustered. You defo don't look it. If it looks that way to you, well, that's because I shouldn't even be here. What do you mean? This life's a gift from a dear friend. It should have been me. I should have died out there that day. So this isn't really me. I'm just living on her time. Maybe that's why. Hmm. Somehow, that reminds me of us. I know. When we're interlinked, I can see a glimpse. Inferno. Destruction. Land screaming. Noah's memories. What if... Bear with me. That friend of yours, she showed up like Euron. As an enemy? as an enemy. I suppose I'd want to know same as Lance. Simply why. Gotcha. I figured. Mm. Why is it that you gave your life for mine? Why? You could have lived longer yourself, Miyabi. 
Why did you do it? So her name was Miyabi. Sorry. Guess it's a sensitive subject. <laughs> it's funny. I thought I had it all locked down. Thank you. Whatever a reason, I'd accept it. The facts. Whatever the truth may be. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards. Can I now? Your partner's now, eh? <laughs> I suppose you are at that. Hmm? I wonder... How does he see things? I think there's more food to find over there. Well, let's go find it. We've been spotted. Yesterday, didn't we? Must ha be lots of them in these woods. Seems so. Well, that explains. What explains what? First glance, it looks like a kelp mushroom, but in fact, it's what's called a nutty nutty. Nutty nutty. Causing overpowering drowsiness when ingested. Huh? Oh, uh, so you're saying. We ate those. And that's why we all slept clean through the Turk and stealing our food. That's my working hypothesis anyway. I'll go warn me and the others. Meh meh. Was my nana who put in dish should have known better. We all picked the ingredients together, so it's not like it's you that was at fault. But then, Manana blew up on land and saved many lots of mean things. Very deeply sorry. Hey, it's on the past. More importantly, all the stretching around, foraging, is giving me a wicked appetite. I've got enough now, surely. Let's go back to camp and make it in something edible. Man, I agree also. We've rounded up plenty of ingredients. Looks tasty. This amount to keep us going for a while. Shall we deal with this? More enemies! What do we do? We run. You, you want me to leave? All under control. Whoa, got a rare dude all right here. Whew. Right then. That should be us good for food now. Yeah. Looks like that'll last us a little while. <gasps> What's wrong, Mia? <gasps> Who's there? Come out! Huh? Boliaris! Yeah, much better. 
I owe you. What are you doing over this way? I thought you were going to the castle. Yeah. No, I went. And this is what I got for my trouble. So, tell us, what happened? But why, Your Majesty? Why would you attack Colony 4? You came into contact with Ouroboros, did you not? <gasps> I'd call it burning out the contagion. C contagion You're implying we've been contaminated? Have you not? You've been removed from the protection of the flame clocks. You no longer need to wager your lives in battle. Who struggles not in life, deserves not to live. That is the compact of our nation, and moreover, the truth. Majesty, my queen. Yet, to punish you all for fate's machinations would be a misstep. Therefore, I shall grant you a chance. What must I do? Eliminate Ouroboros. <gasps> you want me to... Noah, and the rest. Naturally, I am cognizant of the fact that the enemy is wily and capable. I have no intention of sending you alone. <gasps> Kamaravi! Wh why are you here? Ethel. Uh, how? But you're not even on the same side. Entertainment. Pardon? Those who have been released from the Flame Clock's sacred indenture cannot be affected by the Merbius Iris. To bring you back under control, I would have to force your rebirth. But that wouldn't be nearly as fun. The power you two wield surpasses even some of our consuls. I have great hope for you. Ethel. Kamaravi. Now I'm just confused. They gave Ethel and Kamaravi new Phronesis. They've been made specifically to kill Ouroboros. The tune-up might take a little while. Though... You don't have much time. The two of them are after your heads. You're sure of this? Really? That's why I came here. To give you warning. They already know your rough position. That's how I found you in the first place. What's this? Plans of the castle. They were tuning up my Pharonis when I happened upon them. They include schematics for the Annihilator. Take them and go back to Colony 4. Commander, you mean? If they can find us wherever we are, I want to at least secure a way for us to put up a fight. Am I wrong? <laughs> but, Mom, we can't very well. Also, about Noah's group. If you happen across them, tell them this. I will use lethal force, yes? What? Furthermore, tell them I wish them all the best of luck. I hope they reach their goal. Commander?
She sounds serious. And still telling us to just keep going? Well, that's Ethel for you. Hard-headed as they come. Won't she get into trouble? Because of you slipping out? Hardly. I'm just one missing foot soldier. No one's gonna pay it any mind. Ah? Huh? But your wounds earlier. Ah, uh, truth is... Air from falling off a cliff on the way here. It was dark as snuff. <laughs> Are you tucking my wings? Well, anyhow, it's nothing for you lot to fret over. This is our problem now. You focus on achieving your objective. We appreciate it. Ah, but man... You know, why's the commander got to duke out with you lot, eh? And why was our foe, Kamaravi, there? The Ashbar? Feels like the whole world's turned on its head. Alrighty. I'm heading back. Got it? You lot scoot on along out of these parts. There's still some time before they're done tweaking. And with you on foot... We're not running away. Not after all this. Huh? I'm staying too. What? Really? That light we saw... a while back... If that... if that had come from the Annihilator... Even if we were to somehow reach our destination... If it was at the cost of all your lives... It wouldn't be worth it. <sighs> Surviving like that... I couldn't bear it. Mimi... Mia... Boliaris... The castle plans... Can you share them? Noah, you're not... you wouldn't. The fact remains, it was us that destroyed your clock. Therefore... Yes, but that's... Either way, I think it's clear at least part of the blame lies with us. It's only fair, then, that we destroy this Annihilator. Agreed? You for real? I'd be up for a little detour. Same here. He did offer us shelter. That creates an obligation. No way around. Someone here needs to keep friends in line. Count Riku in. If plan on fighting, we'll need first-rate chef too. Oh. And that's it. No looking back. Well, my de facto partner's running full steam ahead. I mean, I can't very well go backwards. Can I now? Oh, fine. Go on, then. You wouldn't make it far inside the castle without a proper healer anyway. Uni. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I'll head back to Colony 4, in case the shit hits the fan. Good luck, then, to all of you. Yeah, we'll be all right. Remember, we're up against the castle. Get too close, and we may come under fire. What's our plan? I think we'll be able to manage, as long as we're careful. Come to think of it, you used to go to the castle for Offseer training once a year, right, Noah? The Black Fog. Is there much there? There's actually quite a bit. Around this time, the whole area is shrouded in it. They couldn't find us in that cave in Neil Valley, right? And you think we can repeat that? Maybe. Using the fog to approach is clever, but risky. What if an annihilation event occurs? You know... I hadn't really given it much thought up until you mentioned it, but oddly, it hasn't been happening. Seriously? I'm not sure why. Behind the castle, there's an ether deposit being mined in an area facing a lake. 
The ether being obtained there is then delivered into the castle through a freight entrance. So that's where we'll get our sneak on. There won't be anyone in the containers. If we can just get to them, without being spotted... Then we can get into the castle. Okay, let's assume we do give the guards the slip. What do we do once we're inside the place? Tyon, the sensors. What was the Colony 4 soldier's search radius, with the fog out? Their scanning range... I'd put in the ballpark of 15 metri. Look here. In the reserve area, there's a maintenance hatch that leads directly to the outer wall. If we make it through here and get to the main housing, it'll land us in front of the Annihilator. Less chance of being spotted by troops outside, too. We can do this. There's one concern. The castle is the Queen's residence. What if we're found by the Consuls? Then I guess we'll have a fight on our hands. But it's not like we don't have a retreat. Here. In Keves, after a homecoming, they wash away the belongings of the dead as part of a ritual. It's an understated affair. And the channel they use for it is here. It flows straight out, connecting to the lake outside the castle. I see. So we open a hatch near the Annihilator, ride the current, and we should come out right at the lake. More snuffy in water. Every time we run, why do we always end up getting drenched? I mean, feathers are a bitch to dry. Every time being our grand total of once. Well, let's just hope we don't have to fight. That's the ideal case. That's it, then. Mm. Ready whatever supplies you need. Then we can go. Let's roll the night now. Can just drop something. Well, visitors, just climb. Don't know what lurks in here. Be careful. The great sword. Majestic as ever. We must be getting closer. We've been spotted. Dancing not have a way to the castle, can you? I don't want to drag a feet getting there. Be careful crossing through, yeah? Are you joking me? Afraid of heights, huh? Not afraid of such a... But if I fell from here, be like, die? Instantly? If Mana thinks something tasty waiting on her side, but Mana can be brave. 
can make it across, we'll almost be out of Makva Wildwood. Just one more hop to Kev's castle. And hopefully, not too long from the Queen. We'll probably have quite a good view from it from over there. Fine, fine, I get it. Let's get this over with. Queen is who I think she is, and is very well implied to be. I don't get why she's doing this, so I hope there's, there's an explanation. Of all the ways we could meet again, it ends up being this. The irony of it all. We are bound. That is how I see it. Bound? That certainly sounds like you. You're talking about... Fate. I think that is how you would put it. Fate, you say? Why? Why did you agree... to be reborn? So you know. There were rumors... that you were imprisoned... that you took the blame for the colony's seizure. It was only fitting. Perhaps I should have killed you there and then. Only through death can our feud be resolved. In a way, I am grateful. Now that I've been blessed with a Pharaonis and another chance. Another chance. A Pharaonis. This is for me. Absolutely. It's been tailor-made to suit your every need. The same goes for his Pharaonis. So, you better make the most of it. With what life you have left. Hmm? Huh? Oh. You've noticed, good girl. I guess they don't call you Silvercoat Ethel for nothing. What a clever thing you are. Those ones are a bit special. They're tied to both yours and Kamarabi's lives. <gasps> the more the two of you get heated up, the more your power grows. Oh, doesn't that sound sublime? Even though you're released from the struggle of life, your precious life force will connect straight to origin. showed me their image, but just who are they? They seem like soldiers from Kevis and Agnes, but are they human? Their hope. Hope? Dreams, desires, the future. Yes, they are hope personified. Indeed, they are your hope. They are everyone's hope, yes. I see. And there's only one choice. Yes, only one. This was a nice find! We've been spotted. Okay. 
Curiouser and Curiouser. We've never been here before. They're on us. Orders? We're not collecting that airdrop. Time for a climb. There's Kevis Castle. It'll still take a while on foot. We'll rest here today, then head out at first light. What a relief. I was worried about the water. Oh. You all right? Y yeah. My hand slipped. Better wash this again. Mm. Am I losing feeling? Tomorrow, we'll finally reach the castle lands. I want us to be at our readiest. We should run one final check of everyone's equipment. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. Hmm? We keep taking this at such a casual pace. Now, sword march seems so distant. Mia? What am I even doing? I can't. You still have two months left. If we take care of this now, we can ensure the colony's safety. Just maybe we can make an ally of people in the castle. It'll make getting to sword march a bit easier. Still! It's two months. Might as well be nothing. But... I... Y you did agree to doing this. Well, yeah, but... I know I did, but... Look, I know... It was a snap decision. I understand why you're upset. Let's just... Take it easy tonight. Take a moment to breathe. Why wouldn't I be upset? Take what easy? We rest today, and tomorrow. Before I know it, it'll be time. And then I'll be... I mean, I get that, but we... You don't get it! Not at all! What the spark? Know it, do you... Do you think you're perfect? Huh? How could I be perfect? I I'm just a regular guy. Right? Even Mimi has her faults. We're only human. The truth is, she's terrified. She needs someone to tell her that everything will be all right. I mean, you. <sighs> Never seen her like this. Poor Mimi. She actually tells you stuff. I have seen her thoughts, you know. No, no, no. I'm not talking about any of that. She just needed to vent. She did? I'm actually kind of jealous. Huh? You're an off-seer, Noah. I thought you were sharper than this. What's that supposed to be? 
You better give her a good apology later, you hear? Got it? Promise me that. Uh, sure. You can count me out for any of that. Huh? Well, maybe. Maybe? What do you mean? Uh, uh forget it. <laughs> In any case, it has no bearing on our objective. Too right. We'll get all this done. The next stop, the city. Right. For Mio's sake. <laughs> hmm? First time we've agreed on something, eh? It is. Hey! What's that in aid of? Do the right thing. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, but I refuse to debase myself like this. You be that way. news. Sun already hang high in sky. Sorry about last night. I was just feeling the pressure. I should be sorry. I didn't realize. It must be tough for you, I'm sure. to a friend. We served in the same colony. She was my officer partner. Miyabi was her name. So your officers sometimes work in pairs? Yeah. You know, I was surprised when you joined in and played alongside me back then. Anyway, one day, there was an experiment, and she, she told me to keep on living. To live life in her stead, to fight on, but... The stupid thing is, I was the one who was older than she was. <laughs> I see. That was... Say, wanna... exchange flutes? What? But isn't that... I, I guess it's a little too icky. No, no. I, I don't care about that. I'm just trying to I just to say... like it... to be used a little longer. To make up for the time me Abby lost. You'll still be around after me. Mio. I get it. All right, it's a trade. You should know. Mine's seen better days too. 
Don't worry. I don't really mind either. Thank you for the chat. I'm kind of surprised. Surprised? Even after interlinking, there's still things I don't know about you. Well, of course. How can you when there are things I don't understand myself? You're not going to pick up on everything. Got to put it into words first. Yeah, but it doesn't always work, even then. Like last night. Oh, that. That was me being selfish. But now, I feel like we're starting to get on the same wavelength. Maybe interlinking just helped that along. To bring us a little closer together. Maybe, yeah. That might just be it. We should be able to rest here. Let's just check here. I'm just gonna lie here, and you can't stop me. Level up. Okay, so it's just one person. Look, it's a black one. What should we no, do? Not really great. Where to from here? Uh, Mimi? I'm sorry I worried you. I'll be okay now. Look over anybody else feeling curious. Make it through here, and we'll be in sight of the castle. About to level 35. A level 35 Google. Sweet, let's poke around. Oh, we will. Once checked out the Google. Or maybe we can't. Not from here, at least. Here we go, guys. I'll follow your lead. You're dealing with me, kid. You're a dead. Good going, you.
dodge my traps. Just leave this be. Yeah, that actually did change the place. That is nice touches. Uh. Huh. We'll have to find a way to get is to that possibly. Veronises. I told you life is short, but I didn't mean it like this. Noah, Mia. That voice? Ethel? Ethel! But then who's the other one? That one? It's from Agnes, right? I recognize the Crescent Mooncrest. Kamaravi's piloting that thing. Kamaravi. That's him. Ethel's sworn rival. But why? How do they get them to work together? Flitting like moths to a flame. And predictions are nothing to be sniffed at. Gotta hand it to him. <sighs> Anyone else wanna show up? And? Uh, I'm afraid this is about as far as you go. Terribly sorry, chums. I know who he is. He's the consul from Colony Zeta. I remember him from a joint operation. Then I guess this one's meant to be from our side then, is she? Never seen her before. Probably. So the consuls are colluding as well. Something's really starting to smell. I can come. I thought that my message to you was crystal clear. Yes, we heard you. That's why we're here. I thought so. I had a hunch that this would be the path the Roboros chose to follow. I don't suppose you'll step aside for us? Wishful thinking. Give it up. Well then, we'll do whatever it takes for the greater good! Well spoken. Then I say the same to you. Offseers from Kevis and Agnes. Fate binds us. I bear none of you ill will, but my way demands we fight. Come then, and test your mettle against my land. You've got to be joking. Mother, I'm not testing anything against that. What happened to fighting fair? We won't get anywhere complaining. Ready yourself, Uni. Ready, he says. From the moment I chose this muddy path, I've been more than ready. Huh. Oh, I know. Then what you say it for, asshole? See, big guys, get ready! They're here!
We tried the battle. But everyone else is too low. Oh, this is not good. I'll keep you safe and snug. Getting past me. I... This fight sucks. Game putting on no. I 
and the game's frozen. Well, thanks to this, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Free! Ah! Uh, oh. Now you! Still, next time we'll be fighting. Well, you already know who we're going to be fighting. Don't need to tell you. I'm coming with you. See you guys then. Xena and Zuma signing out. We'll forge our own way. I'm just gonna lie here, and you can't stop me.